Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition. Today, we're installing a Load Lifter 7500XL kit on a 2019 Dodge Ram 3500. Remember, this overview doesn't replace your installation guide. Grab yours out of the box and let's get started. We'll start by assembling the air springs. Place the roll plates on the air springs and install the swivel elbow fitting, tightening to finger tight plus one and a half turns. Set the corresponding upper brackets onto the air spring assemblies and attach with hex head cap screws, lock washers, and flat washers. Flip the assemblies over and adjust the roll plates for mounting hole access. Insert two carriage bolts down through the top of the lower bracket. Install the lower bracket onto the assemblies, making sure that the flange on the lower bracket is opposite the fitting on the top of the air spring. Attach with hex head cap screws, lock washers, and flat washers. Tighten to finger tight. Next, raise the truck with a floor jack and support the frame with safety stands. For filming purposes, we're using a drive-on vehicle hoist. Drop the axle low enough to be able to later set the air spring assemblies into position. Unbolt, remove, and discard both stock jounce bumpers and associated hardware. Pry out the axle vent tube line holder from the stock upper fifth wheel bracket. Let the hose hang, it'll be reattached later. Set the assemblies into position on the axle being careful to avoid the axle vent tube fitting and hose. Install the U-bolt around the leaf spring stack and through the lower bracket flanges. Install two serrated flange lock nuts onto the U-bolt and leave loose at this time. Install the clamp bar onto the carriage bolts under the axle. Attach with two serrated flange lock nuts. Evenly torque the U-bolts, then the lower axle clamp bar hardware. Next, insert the hex flange bolts into the upper braces Raise the axle up so that the upper brackets touch the frame. Set the brace assemblies with the flange on the brace facing inward through the existing holes in the frame, then through the upper brackets. Install the flat washers and lock nuts onto the bolts and torque the hardware. Raise the axle all the way up and align the lower air springs perpendicular to the upper and lower brackets. Tighten the air spring lower mounting bolts. Reattach the axle vent tube line holder and begin installing the air lines. Begin by picking a convenient inflation valve location. You could use inside the gas cap access door, inside the rear wheel wells or license plate, or rear bumper area for securing the inflation valve. You may need to drill a hole. Install the Schrader valve in its chosen location. Place a nut and star washer on the inflation valve and push it through the inflation valve hole. Use a rubber washer, flat washer, and nut to secure it in place. Then twist on the valve cap. When cutting air lines, never cut from the side or with wire cutters. You'll leave a jagged edge and ruin the hose. Instead, use a sharp razor blade or a hose cutter to get a square, clean cut. It's recommended that the air line be routed along the top of the frame, then down to the fitting. Secure the air line to the frame or where needed using zip ties. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com. And our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.